On a show steeped in narcissism and suffering, it's refreshing to have a bright, bouncing optimist to change the tone and offer a different perspective. That's what the always sunny Mr. Peanut Butter brings to the table on BoJack Horseman. Sure, his happiness and naivete can annoy anyone, not just BoJack, but you gotta give it to this lab. He's lovable as heck. I'm Chris Carr. Here are my favorite Mr. Peanut Butter moments from BoJack Horseman. Number 10. I love this moment just because PB is so pure and wants to help and looks like a total doofus. Okay, I'm picking up on some fruity overtones. Oak, desert sage? Look at him. Not a care in the world. How does he do it? This is the place. I'm jealous of his skills. My dogs can't track down my crap. They're surprised each time they find their own buttholes. Number nine. There is nothing worse than getting skunked. I, I assume. I have no sense of smell, but everyone seems to have some crazy ritual for getting the stank out of them. Case in point. First I rolled all over the couch to get the skunk stench out, but that did not work. So then I ran into every room to rub myself on all my clothes and belongings, you know, to get the Mr. Peanut Butter smell back. I guess when you're a dog, your first thought isn't bathe in tomato juice. Number eight, nothing can reignite a marriage like some political talk. In Mr. Peanut Butter and Diane's case, it becomes kind of an unhealthy pattern of disagreeing, yelling, then anger banging out their feelings. But it starts innocently enough with just some cute little wordplay. Do you have to be the pro-fracking candidate? Mark my words, the only fracking that's going to be happening is in this bedroom. All right, guys. <gasps> Mr. Peanut Butter, you dog. Also, seriously, fracking is terrible. You shouldn't liken pounding your lady to fracking. It's when you forcefully open existing fissures and extract oil and gas. I mean, when you think about that in a sexual way, ugh, it just seems like a farty, horrible mess. Gross. Number seven. I think the show is at its best when it gets to focus on animal behavior humor. Like this classic moment when Mr. Peanut Butter sees the natural enemy of the dog out in the wild. Sleeters know, he's watching you, biatch. Number six. We all know what we like and how to get comfortable to enjoy things. But good old PB takes it a step further. Talk to me like I'm Michelle Pfeiffer in the Coolio video. Just, um, um, put the leg, mm, all right. And Coolio. Damn, Mr. Peanut Butter, that's less gangsters paradise and way more basic instinct. Number five, Mr. Peanut Butter truly is a good boy. He's not one of those turds who leaves their phone on during a movie. He actually shuts it off. Wow, that was a good movie. Was it Oscar worthy? Who's to say? 98 messages, better listen to them all in order. Off boy, off boy. Oh, that's a good Mr. Peanut Butter, yes it is. Number four. More adorable puppy-based humor, I love how Mr. Peanut Butter describes the scary moments of his life without any embarrassment. Oh, I haven't been this nervous since Diane was vacuuming during a thunderstorm on the 4th of July and I had to take a bath and there was a stranger in our yard. If I'm being honest, all of those things make me nervous too. Not the vacuum, I'm just lazy and I don't like to vacuum. Number three, I love that one of Mr. Peanut Butter's ex-wives is Jessica Biel. Bummer for him, Timberlake comes along and starts sweeping Biel off her feet. And who can blame her? He's so attractive. He sings, he dances, he's funny, he makes tequila. What a jerk! You get to be good at like two of those things, Justin, pick two. Anyway, our sweet little lab doesn't even think anything of the relationship throwing a wrench in his marriage. Do all the things with him that I can't do, like eat chocolate or enjoy fireworks or watch tennis. Why tennis makes me so mad? Why doesn't anyone ever catch the ball? To be fair, does anyone really like watching tennis? Really? Number two, interspecies couples are bound to come across some learning curves when it comes to everyday phrases and jargon within their own communities. Diane and PB are no exception. All bark, no bite. Oh, sorry, that's a Labrador expression. I guess in human terms it would be he's all talk and no shooting you with an assault rifle. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. And finally, number one, I think this next one is so many people's favorite moment because it seems so out of character for PB. The universe is a cruel, uncaring void. The key to being happy isn't to search for meaning, it's to just keep yourself busy with unimportant nonsense, and eventually, you'll be dead. <sighs> well, damn. Of course, these are just a few of the funny bits we've gotten from Mr. Peanut Butter, so let me know yours in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and click to the left of my face for more videos right now.